want to deci decide to come in is when we hit low. This is really the point here that you want to move in. Okay? It is not here and back. And then I decide. It's too late. I want to move in when I'm here and that's when I've made the decision. In my mind, I'm coming in. I'm being aggressive. I'm, I'm closing the distance. Does everybody, everybody understand that? It's a matter of timing. And timing, I'm going to borrow Dan Anderson's uh, example for this, but timing is really a decision of when. Okay? It's when I make a move. That is what timing is. If I'm too late, if I'm down here like this and I bring this on back and I start to go in, <clears throat> I might, we might clash in like this. Okay? I don't get to jump on him. Alright, if I go too early, I come back here like this and I go to come in, he might hit me. You understand what I mean? It's got to be when we're both coming in is when I, when I come in like this, okay? Alright, so, <coughs> excuse me. What we're going to do is the first one here, I'm just going to slap his hand down and hit. Now this gets back to... What we, um, you know, what Hawk was talking about earlier is just hitting the person. Okay? So if we're here like this, and I come in, that's what I want to do. Okay? Now here, if you notice, I did not try and control his stick. I met this and just slapped down and then hit. Okay? I'm just clearing it out of the way and hitting. So the way to practice this as a drill, when I come in, I slap and step and strike over here. This way, I do not come close to my partner when I'm doing a power shot. So I turn to the side and I hit. Now, if we're doing this and I come in here, that's this shot. I would not step. I'm only stepping here so that I avoid him. So you practice with your partner with each one taking turns. One person do it one time, one person do it the next time. But what I want you to do is practice come in, slap, and go, and hit. Okay? Question. Yes, sir. So in real, <coughs> real time or real striking, you don't lead with that right hand, the right foot with the right swing? No, I would. Okay, you What I'm doing, though, is by stepping over here, I'm orientating my body right, this right, right. direction. So I can come down this way. Yeah, no. As we come out, come out this way, if I'm here like this, see, I'm coming in with this hand, and then I'm stepping to hit over here. Got it. Okay. And that's just me, safety sake for my partner. Okay. Okay. Can we do this? Just be careful when you're doing your power shot that you're not feeding like this. Don't feed wide, because then you're coming close to your partner. Feed overhead, like it's a, like for us at twelve. An overhead shot, okay? Doesn't mean in reality you couldn't come wide, but it's just for safety for the drill. Come down at an angle like this. Just to recap here, as you come in, you're here like this, you thrust. Now this would be a, a, a number seven for us in, in modern harness, okay? I'm just coming across my body to here, all right? This time, I want you, now this is where we get into baiting. All right, this time we're going to try and draw a response from him. Okay, and then we're going to go on to the, to the next second. This is a trap. We come in here like this, I go to come up and I get to hit here. Like this. So the idea is that what I'm going to do is, I don't thrust all the way, I thrust to I see the hand coming up. And as he goes to reach for it, that's when I come over. And I hook it here with my thumb and my fingers here to hit. Okay? It's a little bit more advanced technique here in that it takes more skill than just coming in and poking. Okay? So, you're here, you go to get it, and this is where it comes in. Right there, okay?
So I'm drawing the response. I gotta show him so that he starts coming for it and then I bring my hand up. I can hit him into the head here like this. I can bring this over here to this side to clear it. Whatever I can get, okay? Everybody see what I'm talking about? Any questions? All right, so this time, this time what we're gonna do is off of the same entry that you were doing here, same thing, okay? But this time what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna draw this out here like this. Now from here what I'm doing is I'm showing the puño. This is the same idea that we just did here. I'm looking for that hand. If the hand doesn't come, it, just hold it. If the hand doesn't come, straight down, okay? But if the hand starts to come, I parry this down. So I'm here. I draw the hand so the hand starts to come forward like this. Okay? And as that hand starts to come forward, this hand just comes up. Again, don't put it down here because this is too big of a space to get across. I'm here. So we're here. I show, he starts to reach, come down to hit here. You understand what I mean? Now ultimately what I want to do on this is as he reaches for this, he reaches across, as he's coming out for here, I want to slap this down here to trap this, to trap this. Momentarily, that's all I'm looking for, is to get the shot in. Like the other one, it's not a go to jail lock or anything, I'm just getting it out of the way and trapping both hands. So I get my shot. So here I'm drawing off of the forehand. I'm here, he reaches, down, and here I go. Okay? okay. Do whatever I want. Okay. 